Morning, YouTubers. Dwayne the Desert right at you. Yeah, I'm back out here by the same spot I was to last Saturday, last weekend, where I did the um, Cowboy Beef Stew Overnighter. Got a new setup I want to do on my back of my truck. Put a canopy up over top of it. I bought a uh, 10 by 10 canopy, one of those like like gazebos. They just fold out frameworks, and people know what they are, but they get but. It comes with four sidewalls. Two sidewalls got uh, roll-up screens on them. They got screens on them, and one of them has a doorway on it. So, and more than big enough to cover the back of my truck, and give me some extra room back there. So, in a torrential rainpour or something like that, if I'm hanging out somewhere where it's raining. Yeah, need a place to hide out. I'm just sitting here soaking the sun up. It feels nice. It's a little chilly this morning. About 34 degrees. <laughs> yeah. Grab some wood along the way. Coming up here. No. It's not iron wood this time. I think at the, at the most last time I was up here. Somebody made a comment about. Oh you can't touch iron wood. Or you go to federal prison. It's like well not really. It's not federally regulated, it's state regulated. And that's only live growing ironwood you can't cut off of. Dead and down you can gather all you want. I've already checked on that. But majority of what I got here is mostly just mesquite, Palo Verde, and oversized seal crib bushes. And that's pretty much all I got. I think I had like maybe, I think I found one piece of wood, of ironwood, that I cut up and burned up. But yeah, a majority of it was just mesquite and Palo Verde. And they don't throw you in jail if you get caught cutting ironwood. Nah, they just cite you. They just give you a fine. That's all they do. But yeah, I might go for a short day hike today. Let me get you up where you can see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go up into this canyon and go to the top up there. But that will be on a uh, separate video. Yeah, I'm back out in uh, my favorite spot here, which is the this is the, the San Manego Hills. And all this. And then that's supposed to be, uh, that one behind me is like Pan something. Pan Quamito or something. Whatever they call it weird names they got for it out here if you look up ironwood national forest it gives you the layout of every every mountain range out here so you can pretty much if you look it up you can tell where i'm at but i'm on the south side of the main section of the san Manigo hills pretty much center of it but as you can see that's the that's what i gathered more than enough it's actually twice as much as I had out here last time so there'll probably be uh, I'll probably be leaving some behind for the next people but yeah I got the back end of the truck to sweep out and all that wood there's that uh, canopy I brought me a half a jug half six gallons there's probably like four and a half gallons of water in there and more enough water to put on the fire for it's out but yeah I got a Put my canopy up. What's good about it is that I can use my hooks inside here. I got it right here. And then if I really need any heavy winds, if I put it up, I can ratchet the canopy down to the truck if I need to to hold it in place to keep it from blowing. But yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, figure out a way to do this. I may end up making a making a new panel. See so the panel canopy goes out top and then the sides are velcroed in place. They got velcro that goes down the legs and then velcro across the top and then the canopy goes over the top. Makes it waterproof, but I gotta figure out how to do it here. Because if I run it down in here, then in this this area here will be open. I mean it's it's nowhere gonna be bug tight, but at least I won't get rained on and condensation on me. But now amount of years I've been hiking camping out here in the desert. I've never had any issues with mosquitoes. Very seldom. 
And if I do, I just light those little mosquito sticks and it seems to drive them away. But yeah, I'm gonna get to work on cleaning out the back of the bed and let's get this thing set up. I wanna set it up before I take off so I don't have to mess with it when I come back. I don't know how tired I'm gonna be. I might actually uh, go up there and look down because I'm gonna I'm gonna go up around that way and I'll follow that first ridge up to the ridge line. I might hike out this way and then go back that way. It's a little too rocky to be climbing up this way. I mean, it's just Boulder City up there. Probably could but take your time. Going up wouldn't be so bad. Be coming back down. But I brought my uh, little battery chainsaw this time. Make it easier so I don't have to hand saw all this stuff up. <laughs> and I'll, I'll make quick work of this stuff real quick. Chop it right up. Right. Yeah, I came out here. It was As usual, there's nobody out here. Yeah, because this, this area I'm at is... Uh, this, is It's in the center of uh, Ironwood National Forest. But it's a, it's a Ironwood National Forest is a mix of uh, national forest and state trust land. So, and the section I'm on right now is state trust land. So that's the reason why somebody was complaining about because I crossed over. Because where I went did that little hike, it's like two canyons and a uh, something weird. It's just over there. It's just see that hills over there. That was uh, that was the hill I hiked up to the top of over there, and then it went up around that way into that canyon over there. And somebody somebody's made a complaint says, "Well, you're not that that's private property." Going no, no, no. There's there's a rancher has grazing rights out here, and he puts the fencing up to keep his cattle in here, but he doesn't own the land. So just like I did when I first came in here, up this road, you follow this road up here. There's a gate I gotta go through. I gotta open it up, drive through, and then close the gate. It's common courtesy, but he doesn't own the land. So I'm not on private property. This is a state trust land. And as long as you have a state trust access permit, recreational permit, you can be out here. And I have one. They're only $15 a year. Deep plane. Yeah. So I'm going to... Enough uh, wrenching for a while. Which is what I call it. But I'm going to... i got to sweep the back end out because it's just full of a bunch of freaking wood. And then I see about getting this can to be set up. I'll uh, in and out on show it. I'm not going to show the whole setup and stuff like that. It's just it's make it too long of a video. to check <laughs> last time I didn't know about it but up here in the top there's a they call it the DPS mode it's it's it switches between your uh, camera mode picture mode and then it's got a 2x slow mode and that's what I did last weekend I lost the last two footages on this camera and I didn't get it I flipped it into 2x slow mo so I was literally walking around like this Oh. Zombie robot. Wasted footage. That work. Clean up, sleep in, because we throw a tarp down anyways. These are the side walls. White too. I picked white because it'll help with heat reflection in the summertime out here. If I camp in it, won't let it get so hot inside. He's got a UV resistance on it. Same with some rope stakes, but I'll probably not using my own ropes. This is the canopy top. And here's the just sets up like any other canopy. Just like any other canopy. Brand new, it's gonna be a little stiff. So gotta work it out. Lock it in place. 
Got the locks on it. Yep, that's what I got. That one's locked in. Raise up the first notch. Scratching the side of my truck. Two of these panels are supposed to have screens in it. One's a solid panel and one panel has a door in it. I'm going to put the door on this side or maybe put the door on that side. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. I'm going to come in on this side. I have to walk around get on the truck or would I want to just have the door right here where I would come in here here I'm just going to keep it barely minimum on this side just a little bit of clearance but mostly I want it over to one side so I have an area over here I can in the rain I could uh, when it's pouring down raining I could set my chair in here and sit inside here while it's raining I'm not going to get it all the way down in there, but you can see, let me see, it kind of Velcro attaches down in there. This you're going to have an issue with where it's doing that, but I'm hoping it might draw it a little bit when I put the front panel on. Yeah. But I may have to do a little customize it on this one. It works down the side here it's not going to work because uh, I may have to build a totally different tarp for this side so I might have to do but it needs to be moved over more this way so I'll bring guys back when I got it all back up and I'll show you it. well it's halfway done I learned with time it's not the easiest thing to set up in the world it lines up perfectly I should have included stakes on this damn thing to stick the corner down. You zip this up and it's just gonna flap around. This thing don't roll up very good. We need to um, put anchor points here on this so you can anchor these things down. Filling is in and this is not going to be 100% bug proof. That majority of the time I'll just leave this open. I only close this during bad weather. But yeah, there's enough room to put my chair in there. Got some screens for ventilation. Well, there's some really... Yeah. They're using that silk screen which is very chinzy not very durable and it doesn't allow air throw airflow through it just mostly light it's only I like about it but. that was an idea I probably could have just forgo on buying this one and just bought that uh, and just use that 8x8 eight eight I got setting up in my backyard right now that I'm using for a painting booth and it would have worked just fine <laughs> I could have just done some uh, poly tarps I ran some poly tarps and just locked it on with some clips but I'll take you in
I mean, it's nice and roomy in here. I mean, I could move this thing over a little bit more, get it closer to the truck, slide it over this way more, and it would give me an, I almost probably, let's see, yeah, I could move it almost, almost another foot, another 10 inches, which would give me a little more space on this side. I'm going to have to have the problem with that, dealing with that. There's nothing I can do about it because it, it's up on top of the frame. That's why I'd probably, I'd probably redesign me a different type of fabric material. I don't see how this is, the way this material feels. The roof, yes, but this, I just don't see this being waterproof. I think water is going to soak through there. I don't know. We get some uh, rains. I'll have to take it out and test it. You see where they uh, velcro together? Not perfect. I, it's not that easy getting it in there. It's Did it work? I am going to invest in the smaller pad though. Save this one for my tent camping. It's just too big to fit in the back of this bed. The other one's about... It's from here to about here. So it's about a foot, a little more than a foot less than the width of this one. It'll fit perfectly in the back of this truck. In between the two things, but... Yeah, it's not the quickest thing to set up in the world. If we're not calling for any cold winds or anything like that, I wouldn't even bother with the sides. I'd just put the canopy up, put it over the top of the truck just to keep the condensation due on me. Put that one up, something down the side because I sleep towards the end. But then again, I can just push it further that way over the top of the cab. I really think that it should have some stakes. In the bottom of these doors. It's something I might have to see about doing. Maybe maybe do it myself. Put some little... Ugh, try that again. Really interrupted by a dead battery. <laughs> yeah, this will work. This would have worked perfect last weekend. I wouldn't have woke up with so much condensation on me. Because this would have protected me from the condensation. Yeah, I might uh, design a different panel to go on the back. Maybe uh, a tarp on these. Glue, or maybe sew some Velcro on it that attaches to that. And then cut it so it fits around. And then I can put some grommets for anchors on each corner. It's just to help with the wind, keep the wind out of here. The same thing with this, but uh, it's got a door that you can you can close on it if you want. I'll probably just leave it open tonight. I got a quad coming up the road. Yeah, just a few odds and ends here, things I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna go for my little hike. I'm sure they're probably wondering, what the bleep is that? <laughs> well, I like drawback. I can understand it for waterproofness, but if this, if you had to have the screens open and it started raining, you have to go outside to close the panel covers over the screen because it's on the outside instead of the inside. But then again, I really wouldn't be worried about it unless that wind just starts blowing that rain this way and it sprays it in here. But other than that, I don't think I'd quit really worried about it. Hmm. For $119.95, I get what I pay for. That's about what I paid for on Amazon. Loose stitching all over the place. I don't think this is going to handle too much in highly high winds. 
probably no better and probably no more better than qual in quality than a Walmart 10 by 10 canopy. Well, I'm just gonna relax a little bit, get things put back in a truck that I don't want. Probably just stick my seat in here and then go do a little explore. I'll put that on a separate video. This all be part of this uh, gear test out camp out. Gear testing camp out. Essentially it's just this. <laughs> yeah. I saved the expense of uh, cutting up wood. You people know how to cut wood up. <laughs> yeah, I get a it's a uh, yeah, it's almost four thirty already, so I gotta get my burger drilling. I'm just gonna get it going. I'll bring it back when I start grilling. I think the grill's ready. I just hope I don't uh Melt my plastic spatula. That's all I got. I need to put a metal one in there. But I am, uh, they're still probably frozen, but I think they'll be alright. These are, uh, bacon cheddar cheeseburgers. Plenty of heat coming off of them. No, nope. it's time to turn them. Flame it up a little bit. Yeah. Nope. I'm quick about it. Won't melt my spatula too much. There we go. I'm just have to. Warm these buns up a little bit. They're still frozen. Put them on the perimeter. Grill them a little bit. Yeah, about three minutes per side. That's what I'm doing. They're cooking good. They'll get flipped one more time, and that's when I go to put the cheese on there so I can melt the cheese on it. I brought some uh, little spicy brown um, horsey sauce, and then this is a mix of uh, spicy brown mustard and barbecue sauce. Somebody's probably going to say, Oh, you should only turn burgers one time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, they're pretty much good. They're good. Time to melt the cheese on there. Provolone first. And then the Swiss. Alright, pretty much done. I'm being smart about it. Instead of burning my glove again like it was last time. <laughs> yeah. Multi tool. That's what the multi tool's for. Get a little bit of foam is going on this again. Let those burgers breathe. Do not fall over, please. I do have something good to drink.
Flamin's get going. I'm actually really freaking hungry. Didn't realize how hungry I was. Hey. Big time smoke inhalation. Oof, man, choking my ass out. What do you think, people? Try the initial booger. Yeah, booger. Perfect done this. Well, wherever we watch it, whatever time, I'm hope you're enjoying something good to eat, like I am. Okay, so, cheers. If not, cheers anyways. These things go good with burgers. Always have. Well, I'm going to sit here and enjoy my dinner. Enjoy the campfire. I'm not going to make this video too long. The last overnight camping trip I did was, the video was almost an hour long. Not too many people watch it. I think I got like 44 views on it and that's about it so far since I came out here. I'll bring it back after you guys get the fire going. Last bite. Mm. Yeah, I moved the fire in the pit now. This time I was smart. When I grabbed the stuff that was hot, I used my multi-tool this time. <clears throat> I don't want to melt the crap out of my glove again like I did last time. That's really throwing some heat off. Ooh. For information, this is a cranberry jack apple. They're actually really good. I got a little too much lemon in it right now. I was using lemon powder and I got four packets instead of, I should have went with three. But 
cranberry jack apple it's it's nothing more than uh, jack apple whiskey mixed with cranberry juice and lemon powder lemon in it they're actually really good i'm freaking hooked on them found i found a recipe for those things for like five years ago and i've been hooked on them ever since I did notice one thing. I got this canopy set up over here. I'm gonna leave the two sides out and the back out. And I'm gonna right where the each window comes down, I'm gonna take some my two inch nylon webbing and grommet nylon webbing on and put a grommet on there. And I'm gonna design it so I can stake it. Because in the wind, this thing just kinda very irritating. I'm going to be listening to that all night. I had to put some stakes in the four corners because I had been having some wind gusts that was literally lifting the whole canopy up off the ground. So I had to, st I had to anchor it down. I'm enjoying my banana flask. Couple limits of Sam Bananas. Of course, this is not old like his. His is an old one. You can see all the wear on it. This is a brand new one. But I got monkey shoulder in there, which is just your blended malt scotch. I'm just going to let you look at the fire for a little bit. Probably the next time I'll come back will be when I'm crashing and going to bed. Been getting some good wind gusts every now and then. Just whipping down through this valley. Burning through the wood pretty fast. Yeah, next time I come out here, I don't have to remember to bring my shovel with me, but I think I'm, I, there's a whole bunch of more rocks over there. I think I'm going to make this, I'm going to dig this, I'm going to clean the, the ash out, throw it around the tree over there so it needs a fertilizer, and I'm going to dig a, a hole in here and then spread the rock around and redo this rock because I think this might be a regular place I might come to on a regular basis because I really like it out here. It's easy to get to and only it's only like a 30 minute drive out here at the most. It's not bad. I mean I do I do have some neighbors over there, way over there, but they're so far away that they they probably we probably don't even know we're here. The only reason why I know they're here is because I climbed up the top of this hill up here and I could see them over there. That's the only reason why I know they're here. And I think it's some ranchers. They're out there hanging out at their uh, stockyard over there. There's a there's a fence-in stockyard because I see some horses out here. They're probably doing some ranching work. But I think it was like six vehicles over there. One had, one had a freaking trailer on it. Looked like a cop car too with a trailer on it. It was kind of weird. It was black and white. I don't know. Yeah. Cheers for the night. Mental note. Three lemon packets. Four packets was too much. It's a little too lemony. I'm using that powdered lemon. I bought a box of them. There are like 50 of them in a pack. It's just powdered lemon. I used to just bring the squeezed lemon, the concentrated lemon. But I decided to go with them and try it. But Yeah, four was a little too much. I think three is enough. Next time I'll try three. Of course, I need to get a new bottle of Jack Apple whiskey. I used, I had just enough to make. Yeah, I'm back again. Rudely interrupted by a dead battery again. That's one thing about this camera. I mean, it shows the batteries, but man, it just... When they go, they're gone. At least it saves the freaking video footage. I've had problems with my GoPro where it, it, the battery died. And the video footage that was recording up to the battery died, gone. Lose the footage. At least this thing saves the footage. Yeah, I'm going to make this a regular spot coming out here. I like it out here. Just got one bad spot on the river when you come up here. One little spot that it's, yeah, it's kind of 
like that and you gotta freaking gun it and every time I go through there my tires are spinning but it's not bad if you hit it just right you can get you just coast right through it use them just gun it a little bit so the momentum of the truck pushes you through and you're pretty good but other than that the rest of the path out here is pretty good I might as well let the fire I'm gonna call it a night go on the bed Yeah, it works. Hi, right. seen a lot that way. <laughs> That's why. We were snugged in a little bit. Discharge.
feels good. It's a chilly one this morning. Beautiful sunshine. <sighs> I guess that's my cue to start packing up. Another beautiful night in paradise. sign off with this beautiful sun coming up. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Off for the next adventure next weekend.